Okay, so here's a tutorial on Adobe After Effects CS5 with some random effects. First thing I'm going to do is create a new composition. I use HD TV settings. 1280 720, 40 seconds long. Click OK. New solid. Go ahead and make a comp size. Black's good. Effect. Noise and grain, fractal noise. Go ahead and we're going to take a contrast and make a way up. We can brighten this way down. And go into the transform settings and go ahead and bring the scale down to 1. And further adjust the brightness until you like how the star field turns up. One more, a few more stars is good. Field. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make a planet. I found this nice moon map on Google Images. Go ahead and import that. Make sure it's on top. Highlight it. Go Effect, Perspective, CC Sphere. We're going to go ahead and make it rotate. So go into rotation, make sure you're in front of the timeline. R y rotation, stopwatch, end of it, two. Scrub through the timeline, you'll see that the planet rotates, which is exactly as we wanted. Next, text, new text. Orbiting text. Center it in your planet. We'll have to adjust again later. Go ahead and make it 3D. Open it up. Go transform. Orientation. And then move it to something like 270. So it's pretty flat. But that's okay. We'll solve that. Click on animate. Enable char per character 3D. All transform properties. We're going to take the X rotation, move it to 90. So far, so good. Now we're going to have to give it something to rotate around. So we're going to go ahead and go to composition, new composition. We're going to make this one 500. 500. Click OK. Then go up here to the Create an Ellipse tool. If you have to, cycle through it by Alt clicking on it until you have the circle there. I'm going to go through the layer, New Solid. And then we're going to double click. What we can't see, or what you may be able to see, is a circle there. But it's there whether you can see it or not. Edit copy, go back into the project, composition, there, edit, paste, open up your text, under path options, mask one, and since we want to make it rotate and in orbit, on a circular path of the circle we just created. We're going to go ahead and first margin, move this around until it's lined up with something where we can find it again, like the N. And we'll go ahead and make a keyframe. Crack it down to 40 seconds. And rotate it around. found it. If we scrub through the timeline, you'll see it's going to make a circle, like an orbit. So we'll go ahead and drag this right to the middle of the planet. And you'll see the first thing that goes wrong is that 
After Effects doesn't actually do things in 3D. You have to simulate them. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask from behind the text. So we're going to find right where it's about to hit. And we're going to create another mask. Go ahead and tilt the text board some more. So text. I don't like anything that's cluttered. I'm going to create a mask. Doesn't have to be perfect. We just need to mask out where the text will be behind the planet. And the new mask, we're going to go ahead and go to subtract. Your mask. Let's bring it up a little bit. Go ahead and scrub through the timeline. Make sure it disappears when it hits the planet. And where it comes out from behind the planet. A lot of tweaking in this, but if that's actually worth it. Go ahead and show it without the mask. Preview. The text is being affected by the mask, so we'll go back and fix that. It can only be affected by the second mask, which is the only thing that's subtracting anything. out. B. Up a little bit. Go out. Go ahead and highlight the star field so we have everything out of the way. Drag it around. And none too bad. There, we're going to add something else to it. We can go ahead and add a new solid. Go back to make sure it's comp size. Click OK. Drag it underneath the text. Effect. Crap code, particular. That in and of itself, if you screen, screen through, it just, it's a bunch of particles, because it is a particle system. Go ahead and go in there, go to fire, fire starter. Fire starter is always a good one. Go ahead and quick round preview, and because it is between the text and the planet, and it will, and it will be affected by the mask, it'll just go through pretty. Now, for some reason, we should need more control over it. Go ahead and scale it down, because we only need it once. With, a high, with layer selected, edit, copy, edit, paste. Now we have another copy of it. Um, we'll take control over this one using an emitter. Call it emitter. Click OK. Since we don't need to 
see it. I'm going to go ahead and drag it off. Off there. And, uh, that's good. And it will animate its position. Transform. Position. Really quickly again. We're going to need to change. Change that, so we'll go ahead and go into the emitter. I'm going to change it from sphere to light. Sphere to light. So it'll only go with light. Go ahead and go in a little bit. Highlight your highlight your emitter position. Drag it in. that your emitter if you're on your emitter pull it up move it over and drag it around again and maybe off the screen Preview. The only reason you're seeing with text highlight is because it gets we didn't change the material options to ignore light, but it's okay because once we turn off the emitter, it won't matter. It um, looks alright, not re going in real time. I'm doing it 50% at full, but that's the way things work. Alright, go ahead and turn the emitter off, and you'll see that the text shows up again. Got forward and backwards a little bit. And there's some more control over it. Um, there are some really nice things you can do with uh, Trapcore in particular. It's well worth it. And, um, control, take the other one, take the layer again. You want to move it for somewhere else in your timeline. Go ahead and change the preset to crazy thing. Go through and in a preview. We can also control that by attaching it to an emitter, but that's not what we're doing right now. Okay, across. A lot of things can change, can affect the color, so on and so forth. Size. Yeah, it's um, certainly well worth it, that in trap code form. I started looking at that recently. I'll eventually end up buying it. But in the scheme of things, if you do a quick grand preview, or take too long, scrub through the timeline, you can see we have some nice effects. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and, go ahead and leave them. Alright, we had fun.